It's the way of Yetzer Ara to tell lies on top of lies, on top of lies, on top of lies. And in the time of darkness, you need to remember the light. In the time of the destruction, you need to remember that the Savior, that the Mashiach, born in that day of Tisha B'Av, that the salvation of Am Yisrael is starting in the moment of the destruction. Because all of the reason of the destruction is to rebuild Am Yisrael in a Shana way, in a more beautiful way, in a more perfect way. This is why exactly like that I, what that I explained to you on the holy tablets. Hashem grew in Beit HaMikdash because people started to worship Beit HaMikdash. And they stopped worship Hashem. They stopped believing Hashem. It was a huge favor that Hashem removed Beit HaMikdash from us. Because we had Beit HaMikdash anymore. So when you have Beit HaMikdash, you don't need Hashem. Because you can bring your sacrifices and this is it. And it's been forgiven. Like the, the Baal Sulam is saying, when you have your lacking and you wish for Hashem Barach, then it's a perfect situation. Because this is reality, that you need Hashem. But when you've already been answered on your prayer, and now you have all of that fortune that you were praying on, you don't need Hashem anymore. That situation is wrong. Something is wrong here. You're going to say thank you. You're going to praise Hashem. Hopefully you're going to be able to keep that one hour every day. A heart you will not going to have. And humility you're not going to have. So why that Hashem going to ruin all of that beautiful thing that you have by answering your prayers? For you it's better, for us, it's better not to be answered yet until we're going to complete that vessel of humility, that even then we're going to be rich and successful, we're going to remember that we don't have nothing. And until then, it's better for us to be without Beis HaMikdash, and to be without our financial success, and without our imaginary happiness that we imagine to ourselves that gonna, if I'm going to have this, I'm going to be happy. If I'm going to have that, I'm going to be happy. And everything that you achieve <laughs> doesn't help you at all. So it's better for us to work on humility. To work on faith, that it's all from Him, and to accept things as they are now, as they are. Now you can be perfect with Hashem. Now you can believe in Hashem. And this is what that you want, to be close to Hashem. If you're going to receive whatever you pray on, you don't have no guarantee that you're going to keep on remembering Hashem. Maybe you're going to make a suda to da'a, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully that you're going to remember to thank Hashem for two weeks after your salvation. Hopefully. Hopefully. That for two weeks you're going to remember Hashem after your salvation. Hopefully. Hopefully. Again and again. Hopefully two weeks. Hopefully. For seven brachot that you're going to complete the Sheva brachot. Hopefully. 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 Admit. Stand. I'm, I'm now confessing in front of you. I know the truth. I know about myself. Easy to forget. Easy to forget, hard to buy, easy to lose. This is the nature of Divrei Torah. This is the nature of holiness. Hard to achieve them, easy to lose them. So it's better for us to accept the condition as is and to thank Hashem in Barach on His amazing private supervision on every detail and detail. And now you can pray. Now you can say, Hashem, please, let me receive the things that I need, but that it will not going to damage my faith. That I'm not going to lose my faith. That I'm not going to lose my faith. And if I'm going to lose my faith, I don't want it. i rather to stay as I am like now, right now. i rather. It's better for me to stay like I told you a few weeks ago, to stay a sinner, to keep on crying against Hashem, and to remember my humility that I'm zero, then not to sin at all and to think I'm righteous. To imagine to myself like I achieved something in Avodat Hashem. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to be close to Hashem. And Hashem is close to you only when you're humble. If you can be also humble and also rich, be rich. No problem. But if you're going to lose your humility, means going to lose Hashem for money? Who needs money? Who wants money? So Bezat Hashem, let's remember. Rabbeinu is saying, Bechiyah, 
the letters Bechia, crying to Hashem Itbarach, it's the first letters of the verse Beshimcha Yagilun Kolayom. In your name they're going to be happy all day long. Even when you're crying, you need to cry out of happiness, out of joy. Thank you Hashem Itbarach that you let me pray. Thank you Hashem Itbarach that you let me mourn. Thank you Hashem Itbarach that I care about Beit HaMikdash, that I care about connecting myself to Am Yisrael. And to increase the prayers on the soldiers, on all of our Israel, that Mamash are still in a huge battle, huge fight. Keep on praying that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to protect us all and going to redeem us with faith. Thank you very much. Chazaku Baruch